Merry Christmas! I'm Robin Sharp, and this is Bird Room Broadcasting, your number one resource for parodies, real news, and entertainment. Co-host Georgia Gray will be tuning in later as she has decided to go to Argentina to further investigate the story of the Amazon that will be called to be a witness in a murder trial. Get out of the bushes, we're gonna be live! Dude, they sent me here to interpret for her, not to report this ridiculous story. All I'm doing is chasing her around from bush to bush. Your Spanish isn't that great anyway. It's still the best at the station. Five, four, three! We are here in Argentina where one of our lead news anchors, Georgie Gray, has personally taken up on herself to look for an Amazon parrot that is a witness in a murder trial. Although there is no official reason for being here in Argentina today because clearly this bird needs to stay and stand trial. Our Anchor is going above and beyond to make sure the bird is safe and taken care of. <laughs> oh my. Um, <clears throat> uh, you have gone above and beyond to find this parrot. Would you like to share some good news? Yes. The good news is that I think I'm getting closer. I heard the bird, I swear. And, uh, I'm gonna do everything in my power to find this bird. Well, that is fantastic news. Argentina is such a lovely place. <clears throat> That's good. That's good that you think so because we're gonna stay here and uh, for as long as it takes till the end of the trial. Uh-huh. Um, well, that could take months. Yeah, but uh, you know what? Let me just go over here and see. Oh my God. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Oh my God, you know what? Birds are in rainforest, they're fine. They don't need me. I'll be good. The birds will be okay. I gotta go. Um, all right, well, we're uh, back to the studio. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Got the parrot. Well, it appears Georgie Gray doesn't like air or water touching her. Longtime staff member and head of IT, George Halali, has taken up a new position in the flight house recently. Due to an influx of moths taking over the home, George Halali has taken upon himself to become the moth hunter with his ingenious new gadget. This is the bug assault. You better not get my lips, George! This thing will tear down any bug three feet away. This thing is a man's toy. Not a child story. Got it! <laughs> There's no mention of this will be a long-term position for Halali, or if that this gun even gets rid of the West Nile. Although, in Los Angeles near water, I only get bit by mosquitoes, so... Hmm. Oh! Oh my god, you're so dramatic. Well, <laughs> I'm dramatic. Oh. Um, guys, can you pull up footage from camera B? Roll it while we're in commercial, please. <laughs> it was soaking wet, okay? What do you expect me to do? <sighs> I didn't Three, find the bird, two, if you care. One. A group of motivated bird watchers found Santa this morning during an unusual walk of shame. Hmm. Thank you, Georgie. I'm here with Tony Lorenzo, a bird watcher. Birder. A birder who found more than birds this morning. Oh my god. You're DJ Tony. Yeah. Wow. I'm so happy to be interviewing you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. So, uh, how did you find Santa? Well, I was peeping through this window because they have this beautiful hybrid parrot. A window? Yeah. As in on a house? Oh, yeah. I look through it all the time. This parrot is so special because it's a blend between a Red Lord and a Salvino. It's got this big, beautiful, puffy head, these two big thunder thighs. It's beautiful. This morning, when I was peeping, I saw Santa sleeping there. We locked eyes, and he bolted up and took off. I thought he looked suspicious, so I chased him. Santa! Would you mind elaborating on what you were doing snoozing in a house that is not yours? <clears throat> well, it is not uncommon for Santa Claus, that's me, 
to visit thousands upon thousands of house delivering presents, none of which belong to me. It is when that house celebrates Hanukkah. Ho, 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 ho. Well, how would you know that if you hadn't been peeping in the window all these months? Ho, 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 ho. What were you doing sleeping on the floor, Santa? I was exhausted. You try keeping up with Amazon Prime. It's impossible. <gasps> OK. No, I roofied you. What? Yeah, I didn't trust him because I celebrate Hanukkah. So I roofied you using this amazing calming avian tea that is made by Posh City Pets and yours truly, Marlima Cohen. <laughs> so for this assault, I use my specialty, which is Jersey's birthday mix. It's right here. It has chamomile, very important, hibiscus and red raspberry. And that mixture will knock out your fattest thread. Oh, excuse me. This guy has been peeping in your window for months. That's normal. Yeah. I'm used to it by now. I have awesome birds. She does. Plus, I tried this on him. It didn't really work. Sorry. Ugh. Another freaking stage mom. Back to you, ladies. <laughs> Subscribe, everyone. Get your tea. This just breaking, the polls are now open for the race between Leo McCohen and Merlin Halali, who are running against each other for Parrot Station president. Voters can now cast their vote at ParrotStation.com, and we are told that the winners will be announced this Friday, January 1st. Our field reporter Martin is on the streets asking voters to weigh in. Thank you, Robin. I'm here in the streets of Los Angeles where voters are very passionate about their candidate. Let's see who this young lady is voting for, Merlin or Leo. Uh, my support is with Merlin. He's a well-rounded and educated young bird who believes in compassion and success of this uh, place. These damn cars. Okay, that's, that's fair. Have you seen something from his grassroots story that inspires you? I think he, uh, he a bird come from nothing and built himself up real good. There has been talk about him encouraging foraging, which some would consider stealing. It's actually affected Brando. What would you say to that? I think uh, people are um, very sensitive. A bird like that come with a great uh, story, great uh, viewpoints, and uh, want to build this uh, place. Um, people, what is mine that is yours? It's like communism and the SSSR. Anything else that you would like voters to know about Merlin that you don't think is out there? I think uh, if you want great place, uh, you grant great station of bird, then vote Merlin. Fair enough. Thank you for your time. Let's see. Come on with these cars. Let's see if we can find any more potential voters. Ugh! Hi, miss, 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 miss. Can we kind of ask you a few questions about this upcoming? Yes, yes, yes. Do you know who you're going to be voting for, Merlin? Is she in her shot? Please get up there. Am I in your shot? D uh, miss, miss, excuse me. Do you know if you're voting for Merlin or Leo? I'm going to vote for Leo, dude. Okay, how do you feel about flight is your right? Flight is definitely like your right, dude. Like, totally. Like, clipping the wings off the birds, like, that's, like, rude. And it's like, you shouldn't do that. It's bad. Is there anything you feel Leo will bring to Pirate Station that's not there right now? Yeah, I mean, he'll get everything done. Leo's your one. You want it done, Leo's the one. It's a slogan. It's, like, no-brainer. Uh, vote for Leo! <laughs> right there, baby. Right okay. There. Thank you for he your time. He just touched me inappropriately. Ugh. Leo let's, wouldn't stand for that. Let's see. I'm gonna clip your wings. How do you like that? Let's see if we can find any more potential voters. I'm sick of this. Like, come on. Like, you would tell me if my hair was messed up, right? My hair just feels horrible. Like, I hate the way it looks. Like, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Would you be able to, like, just to kind of give us your insight on the upcoming election for parrotation between Leo and Merlin? Uh, yeah. Merlin isn't very politically correct, and I appreciate that. He's very refreshing, and I think he only speaks the truth. Well, to be honest, that sounds like more of a shot at Marlene McCohen. What are your opinions on her? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty informative. How do you feel like on his stances? Do you feel like he encompasses all birds? Mm, no, he really just bribed me, and that's good for me because I really needed that penny, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go for the fun box. Anything else you would like to add? No. All right, well, let's see if we could f run into any more potential people. Uh, Thank you for your yeah. time. Yeah. She really like just walked right into my shot. That stupid cherry head, red, like, I All right, that, I'm done.
This week, DJ Tony Lorenzo interviews Vinny the Two on his new album that has recently dropped on SoundCloud. We have the exclusive. Yes, this is a very exciting opportunity for Vinny the Two as DJ Tony Lorenzo is extremely well known and he's the perfect person to interview Vinny because he is an elitist bird watcher and he is head of, can, can I let this out? They basically already made a movie about it. All right, fine. He is head of Sniffers Anonymous. The anonymous group dedicated to people who love to sniff birds. Let's roll the clip. Hey, this is DJ Tony coming at you from LA on my new show, Deeper Cuts. And today we've got Vinny the Two, his new album just dropped on SoundCloud called To Be Clear. I know, it's exciting to be here, my first guest. You know, what inspired you to become a rapper? Oh, really? That's amazing. That's a great story. How'd you come up with those lyrics for Shall We Dance? I mean, they're, they're killers. Do you have a girlfriend, Vinny? You have three girlfriends right now? Well, I didn't mean to ruffle those feathers. I'll stay out of that business. Oh, damn. How many times have you died bombed George? Like seven times? Yeah, I guess he is. You're the king of the dive bomb! I know! As his publicist, do you think you could just stick to his album? Thank you. Did you always aspire to be a rapper since you were a kid? Who was your biggest influence? Was it Eminem? Yeah? What? I know you're a genius. You're a lyrical genius. I know that. What are you going to do with all that genius? Thanks so much for your time today, Vinny. Really appreciate it. Back to you guys. Well, that was such a fantastic interview. Vinny is such a refined and talented genius. I can't wait to see what other brilliant things come out of this prodigy. Now, breaking? Really? Breaking news. This just in. Not long after Andy Cohen, producer of Bravo, declared T'Challa the most famous African Grey in America, Vinny the Two celebrity was caught having a bit of a mental breakdown because he couldn't quite handle the news. Let's take a look. Although it is unclear on how Vinny the Two has had a mental breakdown on lookers, have suggested that he is quite indeed going crazy. He is claiming that he deserves this award more than T'Challa, as he is the epitome of cool and it has especially played a part in upping Marlene McCohen's fashion game. But the biggest tell all of all was when Vinny announced his run for presidency of Barrett Station. It's gonna run for Parrot Station. Hmm. How does Vinny even run for Parrot Station? There's like five days left into the election. Like, how is he gonna even qualify? Can he qualify? Can he qualify? Maybe in uh, some areas he could qualify, but definitely not in all of the areas. Um, I didn't even think that was possible. Yeah, I gotta, if he's gonna run, I gotta go fix something on the website and make sure that like uh, that option is there, you know what I mean? Look at Georgie always running to help the birds. George! Such a stage mom. Well, this has been an exciting episode of Bird Room Broadcasting. Thank you for tuning in. That was Georgie Gray and I'm Robin Sharp and you have a nice night. Mm -hmm.